Hey team, just wanted to let you know that all mouse pads today on shoptechbuds.com are buy one, get one 50% off for your trading station. Link is in the description. Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with TechBud Solutions. And today was definitely not a perfect day when it comes down to my series of trades. Uh, it started off really great. I was up nearly $28,000 or over $28,000 on the day. First off, one of the things that you guys should know is I tend to take very heavy positions. Uh, AMC began to simply pull on back. Uh, I wanted to update you guys on my position very quickly on AMC. When it comes down to my Webull account, it's been on a consistent descending pattern. Uh, it's trading right around $56 a share, holding 3,300 shares. I'm down $5,000 on the day. I was up $10,000 yesterday. It's a give and take, right? Um, I put myself in a position where I put that much money on the line. Uh, it's great when it's green, and this is what happens when you continue to hold and it pulls on back. AMC is a risky stock. I wouldn't recommend it for everyone. I just wanted to do my part in updating you guys, not just on my green days, but of course on the red ones as well, um, as I continue to hold. So on the four hour time frame, AMC looks all right. Um, it's not the best when it breaks below the EMA line on the four hour time frame, but just simply wanted to update you guys on my position. And if it continues to sell off, uh, I might reduce my position size a little bit, but nothing too crazy. What I really wanna talk about is Tesla. So a lot of you guys have seen that I actually uh, took my original short position uh, last week, and I really heavily added to my short position uh, yesterday and today. And I wanna share with you exactly why. I didn't make a ton of money in comparison to how much money I put into it, uh, but one of the things that I wanted to show you is uh, this is when I really began to go in heavy on my Tesla short position. And if you guys are not familiar with what that means is by shorting Tesla, I'm not buying Tesla and hoping that it goes up, I'm shorting Tesla. So therefore, you know, I make money as it sells off. So I first buy, uh, or I first sell, as you guys can see, this is like you sold the short sell of Tesla. Um, and then this one was at a price of 690. So I did 150 shares here. And one of the covers that I did is I, I covered 200 shares at 677. So um, this is pretty much what it looks like uh, right before I sold. Um, I was down $5,000 on AMC on the day. And then as well as on Tesla, I was down uh, or up $5,000 because of Tesla pulling back a little bit and me being able to make money as it sold off, I would add more to my short position. Uh, and I wanna share with you exactly what I saw. I would not recommend this for everyone. Tesla is a very bullish stock as of right now, and we do not have confirmation. I was just testing things out, having fun with it, and I found this little trading zone. Margins were not huge, but I saw a very clear resistance level, a very clear support level, which is why I decided to you know, kind of jump on in, uh, short it at the high 690 areas. Um, and one of the things that you guys can see is that Tesla right around you know, anything below 700. You can see that it got rejected here. It sold off to lows of uh, 665 around that general area. It found a support pushed right back up to 690, uh, 695, and then it pulled right on back. Uh, once it showed indication of a resistance level at the same previous resistance level, and as it began to kind of sell off, you can kind of see it a little bit more clear on the one hour time frame. Um, it was very easy to see that it peaked, and then it began to indicate signs of a descending pattern, and simply, you know, looking at the one day, one minute chart, I don't think it's very difficult to see that the SMA line during the entire pre-market session was acting as a resistance level. And even when the market did open, every time that it would approach it, it would pull on back, approach it, pull on back. But one thing that I saw is how did I know to, to cover my short position right around, you know, if you guys look at where I covered, uh, which means that I lock in my profits on my, you know, short position, you guys can see that I covered at 677.67. So how did I know to cover at a decent price range, I would say, based off of previous support levels? And you can kind of just see that within the day, it's found a very solid support level right around 677 and 678. Any, really anything above uh, six. 80 um, was a very uh, common support range, meaning that it bounced a lot often uh, or very often here, uh, which led to it pulling back. So I would add more to my short position every time that Tesla would get rejected by the SMA line, it would sell off, I would cover my short, and then it would pick right back up, I would add more to my short, it would sell off. Again, I'm not working with a lot of margin when it comes down to you know it being Tesla, uh, it's a blue chip stock, it's not something that's gonna move a crazy percentage, or at least it hasn't. Uh, it's normal days for the past week have been anywhere from around you know 2% to about 5% days. Uh, so today, being down 1% is 
you know, definitely a little bit of a lighter day. If Tesla broke below that support level at 675, I could easily see it going back to that previous support level that you saw on the, um, you know, four hour time frame, which is right around uh, 665, but we just didn't, you know, uh, go all the way down there. So right now we are testing support level at EMA line. Um, I probably think it's gonna bounce here uh, and continue to rally, which is why I'm covering my short, meaning that I'm no longer shorting Tesla, but, if we break below the EMA line and begin to indicate signs of an uptrend, I would personally love to jump back in on a short position and ride it from 670 all the way back down to about 610, right around where that SMA line is at. So only time will tell. I'm definitely waiting for confirmation. I was trying to be very selective with when I added to my short position and when I covered with my short position, I wasn't trying to nickel and dime um, you know, every single trade. I was looking at resistance levels, looking at support levels, and just focusing on locking in profits and making sure that I stay well balanced. And I think I did a decent job. The one where I definitely could have worked on and have done a lot better um, is my AMC position when able to see that the SMA line was also acting as a resistance level uh, and that it was really just making lower highs and lower lows, I should have been quicker to reduce my position size so I can buy back at the lower levels. So I just wanted to update you guys on my Tesla short position and how it played out today. Um, it's pretty much a break even day for me when it comes down to my Fidelity account. I'm actually down $272 on the day, but um, yeah, I made $5,000 on shorting Tesla and I had fun while doing so. So uh, excited to follow up. Let me know in the comment section um, if you guys have any questions. And I hope that um, I can see some of you guys in the live trading session tomorrow at Market Open. If you wanna watch me trade live every morning, click the second link down below. And again, I'll see you at Market Open. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy.